It's getting warmer out, and pretty soon you'll be hearing a lot more of this. We've all seen them since we were young, and have probably chased one down a time or two. But who are the people that drive these ice cream trucks? Well, I caught up with one of the guys who works for the Kansas City Ice Cream Company on the north side of town and followed him for a day to see what goes on inside the ice cream truck. Hey, what's, your, uh, what's your favorite thing about this job, dude? Uh, giving the ice cream to the kids and like I said, I don't got a boss jumping down my neck at me all day or trying to tell me where I can and can't go or what I can and can't do. Our boss pretty much just says, here's a map, pick where you want to go, and if there's another driver in your town, you know, split it up with him. With the growing concern among young children and their safety in recent years versus how it was when I was a kid, I wanted to know what the protocol was for cruising schools. I've never tried it. I mean, I don't see why not. Uh, everybody knows who the Ding Ding Man, I would think, is. <laughs> Probably not the guy driving, but... I mean, yeah, but the company. Yeah. I, yeah, that's a. I mean, I don't know whether to say that's a good idea or a bad one. Right. <laughs> you but know? You've never done it yet. Yeah, I've never tried it. Mr. Schroff said parents have mixed feelings about the ice cream trucks. There's some parents that I see on their face when I'm coming down their block. They shake their head and their kids are jumping up and down and they're like, get inside, get inside, and make them go inside. Those parents probably don't like me too much. The kids definitely enjoy it. I got kids that stands out on the, that's not even buying nothing and they're standing on the sidewalk dancing to the music as I drive by and just waving and you know, it's just a good feeling. I, I really enjoyed it. Which is great because this tradition has been around for generations and they're becoming more and more rare all over the country. I remember playing wiffle ball in the streets with a bunch of friends and hearing the bell ringing from blocks away and chasing it down. But that doesn't happen as much as it used to. But one thing was for sure, the music was getting a little bit tiresome. Does this music ever drive you absolutely crazy? Uh, yes, yeah, sometimes, but I can reach up here and just change the song. <laughs> and I can control the volume. Ain't no sense in blaring it as loud as it can go. Regardless, ice cream trucks have a special place in most people's hearts, and you're never too old to enjoy a little ice cream. Jeremy Lyons, Fox 26, KNPN.